Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Today we're talking about this brand new Blizzard Rustler 9. Um, I've always been appre appreciative of the Rustler 9. I've always enjoyed skiing it, but I don't know that I would say that it was one of my favorite skis personally. This new Rustler 9, on the other hand, is so much fun. I thoroughly enjoy skiing it, and I, I truly think that Blizzard has made objective improvements to this ski just across the board. It's been one of the most popular skis on the market for a while, maybe not like top 10, but I would guess at least top 20. And yeah, I think they've taken a really good, really popular, really versatile ski and just made it a little bit better. Um, the changes to the 9 are basically consistent to 10 and 11, at least in terms of construction. But it's also true that the 9 changes a little bit more than those wider skis, <clears throat> excuse me, because the width changes more drastically than those other skis. So before we look at that shape, let's talk about construction. One of the big elements in these skis that was not included in the previous Rustler line is TrueBlend wood core. So TrueBlend is basically a technology where Blizzard is laminating different density woods uh, in a longitudinal fashion in different portions of the ski. So it's basically allowing them to, say, put denser wood underfoot or more stringers of dense wood underfoot and then kind of taper to less dense wood as you reach the tips and tails. And what's super cool about True Blend, or not that the whole thing isn't super cool, but what I really like about it is that they even can switch that up based on length. So they're really able to control the flex pattern in each, each ski uh, more specifically kind of from an engineering perspective, which is just awesome and gives them a ton of control in the manufacturing process. Now, the other thing that's new about these Rustler skis is this flux form metal application. So in the previous skis, we had dynamic release technology. Now we have flux form, uh, both pretty big names. They don't exactly describe what's going on, at least flux form, I don't think exactly describes what's going on. But instead of having centrally located metal laminates that end in the forebody of the ski, we have three different pieces of metal. So there's one underfoot, binding retention, but also adds some stability underfoot. This is actually the one difference between the men's skis and the women's skis is the men have that full sheet underfoot. And then we have two sheets of metal or two strips of metal that run along the edges of the ski in more of like, I've been using the, the term tuning fork to kind of describe at least the concept of it. They're placing the metal along the edge. The metal is longer. It's going to help more with vibration damping than the previous, previous application of metal. From a shape perspective, I think they've created a little bit more of like a, not freestyle attitude in this ski, but I don't know, when I ski it, it feels more like it's got this twin tip attitude more than the outgoing Rustler 9 did. Quite a bit of tip rocker up here and you can see just like this really consistent, pretty sharp rise in the, in the rocker profile. And same is true in the tail. You know, if that was much lower splay, then it wouldn't look like a twin tip at all, and I feel like it wouldn't really act like a twin tip either. 96 underfoot, so the previous Rustler was either 92 or 94 with the long, I think only the long length being the 94. So we do bump up in waist width and entire width in every dimension. So that's it. There's a lot to talk about on these skis. We did do a full length review, so if you wanna just learn more about them, I would encourage you to go watch that because we don't have time to touch on everything right now, but a lot of changes. And overall, <clears throat> I think they have made this ski stronger on trail. So stronger when you're making carving turns. I think it carves beautifully. I think it's so much fun to link turns on. 
It's not as strong or as precise as something like the Brahma 88 or something like that, or a Bonafide 97 would actually be a better comparison because those widths are very similar now. Not like that, but still pretty darn strong. A lot of torsional stiffness. It feels really damp and smooth when you have it on edge. And while it's not like a super stiff flex pattern by any means, it is supportive enough that you can ski it pretty darn aggressively. Really fun because it doesn't feel like it's going to wash out, um, but it, it bends. So you can kind of arc these deep trenchy turns and just have a blast on it. On the other hand, when you're skiing a flatter, flatter edge angle or just kind of wiggling through trees or moguls or something like that, it feels a little bit more maneuverable too to me or at least it feels as maneuverable as the previous Rustler while also being a bit stronger. So I think it's just a win-win in any application for this ski. Um, I even skied it in the park this past season a couple times just to kind of see if it could do it. And I thought it performed admirably as a, like, it's not a park ski, it's a directional kind of freestyle influenced free ride, all mountain ski, a lot going on there. Uh, but for a ski in that category, I thought it handled the park really well. So they've taken a ski, they've taken like a truly, truly versatile, fun all mountain ski and just enhanced it in basically every aspect. Um, I know there were a couple skiers at least in things that I saw on forums and just in discussions and the lift line and stuff like that. I know there are people that were a little bit bummed that they made it wider, but I feel like the moment that you ski it, all of those concerns go away because it still is pretty darn quick edge to edge. It's still easy to control. It still feels responsive and engaging. It's just a little more capable in soft snow and just overall, I think, a, a better skiing experience. So, yeah. Sweet skis, I think you're gonna see a lot of them. Um, it's been a popular ski for a while and I can only imagine that popularity is going to tick up a little bit with this new model. So that's the Blizzard Rustler 9. Let us know if you have any questions about it and we will see you out there on the slopes.